coming up this time on Sailing Cedra McClyde, we continue further into Glacier Bay to the spectacular Reed Inlet where we get a chance to anchor in front of a glacier. We soak in the spectacular views and then the next morning when the sun comes out, we head skiing on the hills above. Thanks so much for watching and if you're enjoying the series, make sure you hit subscribe so you see all the next ones coming up. set to leave um, Sandy Cove. It was a pretty nice calm night last night. I slept really well um, after bashing around yesterday in that trap. Um, but we got 30 miles to go to Reed Inlet and there is a, a bit of a northerly breeze right now which will be perfect for us. Hopefully that stays stays that way but there's no sure thing in this area with all these inlets everywhere. Super convoluted wind was my experience last time and that's what we're getting so far here too. So last yesterday while we were bashing along lost the lid to this guy, the crappy hinges I got at Rona, as expected, as I should have expected, um, were super rusted and kind of pulled the screws out while we were trying to open it and then I forgot to lash it down. Um, so it went flying overboard. So I'm going to rebuild the lid to this thing um, in a better way, the way it was. Sometimes water would splash in there. Um, but luckily I noticed right away when we lost the chunk of wood and put this tarp on here before a bunch of seawater started splashing in. So live and learn. Live and learn. I'm going to just do a lashing thing with a little cool little cleat or something and just a piece of rope that definitely won't rust. So we mortared for a bit um, and decided, well, we don't want to mortar for 20 hours, or sorry, 20 miles. Um, so we'll just wait and see if some wind shows up. There is wind. Uh, our starboard, up the inlet there, so that'll reach out here and give us a little blast. Um, things change real quick here, so we'll just enjoy the view. I've uh, been in places with lesser views and drifted a lot around a lot longer, so I'm sure we can manage here for a bit. We've got tons of daylight, of course, and we're not trying to go skiing today. Though, if we got there soon enough, maybe we would go for a little lap. Coasting along in Glacier Bay, 2.2 knots. Coming up to this robust wind line. Should see us going three knots. That's how we roll. Trevor Dickinson, Ops 1, AST 1. We're heading up to Reed Inlet here. We see there's quite a lot of potential corn snow up here. And surrounding us, Maybe this is corn snow here. So I'm gonna do a bit of an assessment here. I got my uh, my sampling cup. I'm just gonna lean down and get a scoop. Okay, so we got a bit of potential corn snow here. Smells a little funny. <laughs> it's a bit salty. So I, I don't think this is corn snow at all, but it was corn snow not too long ago, as we can see up here. All kinds of potential Alaskan corn snow, and we're gonna go and try and harvest some. Uh, Trevor Dickinson, Ops 1, AST 1, out. After a lot of teasing, the wind seems to have actually picked up a little bit. We're going on about 3.2 to 3.5 knots now, um, right in the direction we want to go, so I will take it. We were drifting around a lot for a while there, um, but the scenery is incredible, so I don't mind just relaxing here. It's kind of like being at anchor, except for you're slowly moving where you want to go and occasionally toy with the sails. Um, but I like the style of sailing, where you're actually sailing and not just mortaring whenever the wind dies. After a lot of uh, flaky and fluky winds, 
a pretty nice little outflow breeze kicked up here and blew the rain away apparently and we're now 10 miles away uh, from reading our destination and we're making 5.6 knots or so. So on our next tack, I think we'll be pointing straight where we want to go and get there kind of dinner time-ish. Not too bad, considering we've been drifting around a lot today. like our long search for ice for our very iceless cooler might be coming to an end up ahead here. Reed Inlet. Super beautiful here. Potential for uh, easy access to the Alpine right there. There's some snow up that gully. And there's also some really cool uh, lines right at the beach that we might go check out too. Pretty sweet to be back here 11 years later. There's quite the view to behold popping your head out of the uh, companionway. Yeah, big glacier at the head of the reed in that. And all the adjacent snowy slopes. We're inside all cozy. Just had dinner. It's like 10.30 at night or something. Get a little fire going and the whiskey out. Got the sun hat on and that must mean one thing, we are heading up into the snow. Uh, we're getting our skis out again for probably the last time and we're gonna head up uh, this ridge that's right beside um, the Reed Inlet and go get, check, get some views and there'll be probably some okay skiing down. Um, looks like we'll be able to get on snow within about 50 meters from the shore so that's pretty good. Cedar and Clyde down there. Alex emerging from the holder. And there's a big gully right down here. We took some other gullies that have some snow, so we'll probably go back that way. But I think we should be able to put our skins on just above where we can see here when we're getting the ridge and get out of this gully system. There's Sea Dream and Clyde down there. We came up this stuff. So this gully we had actually aimed to that would have got us through the snow a little quicker. It was a little bit spicy, but there were no spikes, which I'm happy about. Just steep alder and a little waterfall to follow. June 9th, going skiing. Heading up the uh, bridge here. Just gonna go over to the north ridge where it should be continuous snow. Put these little cliff bands in the way. You see a couple of roots though, or we can ski right from the top now. But, uh, it's pretty fun. It's about 140 now. There was no freeze last night, so it didn't really matter what time we left at. Um, it was raining first thing this morning, so it's probably better to win. 
but things are super stable. I think everything that's gonna slide is pretty much slid. Any corners is left. Cool feature around here is um, I'm like, we're actually looking at uh, Canada right there. Um, I think it's BC, or maybe it's the Yukon by there. Probably the Yukon. Um, but uh, those mountains in the distance and the glacier, that is in Canada. The whole place to ourselves. I don't see a single other boat anywhere. Boot pack action, this extra steep bit. Alright, ski down. And we're on the ridge line. Try and get views of the much bigger peaks. Just on the side there. Uh, just up on the ridge above Reed Inlet. You see down below me there, there's the Reed Glacier down there too. Um, and we're just getting set to ski down. Uh, just beautiful up here, just as we got to the top, the uh, blue sky decided to come out. And we're glad it waited till now so we weren't roasting on the whole way up here. But yeah, it's pretty pretty cool to come back to this exact same peak I came up 11 years ago. Um, but a lot more snow and I got my skis with me. And it's gonna be a real fun trip down. I'm just looking to the west up on this peak this ridge system. There's a boat heading into the glaciers down there. A little iceberg action over there. Alex perching on the big rock there. pond here that we saw from the top and the skiing was quite good really nice corn snow it was like not even sticky for the bulk of the lower slopes until you get to the flats here and that little traverse up top was a little sticky but overall it's really great day June skiing pretty sweet so now we're gonna go find our way down this little gully here until the snow ends and then uh, carefully cruise down Silly. Um, we ended up going up some ridiculous gullies over there where we saw snow going. We thought it'd be easy to pop into this one. But this one's like super easy right from the bottom. And we were able to ski until right here, like 50 meters or less above sea level. And we'll be able to just go along the edge of all this rubble and be out onto that plane. But whatever, we found it on the way down, so sweet. Yeah, just looking uh, back up. Taking views here. You see, see Drew McLeod just out there. This year, corn snow so good, I'm gonna harvest the last bit right to the boat.
coming up next time on Sailing Cedar McClyde. We return from skiing, and before we head out of Reed Inlet, we go grab some ice for the cooler, and then start moseying out of Reed Inlet. On the way out of the inlet, we have a ridiculous encounter with some humpback whales that apparently don't know the rules of how far we're supposed to stay from them. After that, we get some really wonderful sailing as we continue out of Glacier Bay towards Juneau. Thanks so much for watching, and if you're enjoying the series, make sure you hit subscribe so you see the next ones coming up. Bye for now!